So as I told you, like good communicators get into less trouble. It's a forgotten soft skill, and we have to make a conscious attempt. I think all the educators should make a conscious attempt to put this instill this skill in their formative years of uh, medicos, and probably life it's a lifelong uh, learning for us. And obviously, I'm just probably concentrate on the surgical career of us. Like when you do cataract surgery in particular, it definitely adds a value to your surgical outcome. You may do the best of the surgery if you don't really communicate what you have done. It is assumed that I mean, uh, so they still have expectations. So you need to actually add in this communication so that you increase the value addition. Uh, let me start with the second eye syndrome. For example, the patient, it's always said that the person who undergoes the second eye cataract surgery. Okay, he's always left unhappy. He always says the first surgery was better. He always says that the second day is not seeing as good as the first day. And he always said that the second day surgery took more time. It was more painful than the first day. Why is this? It's because I got an SMS long back that all the problems in this world are because of two evils. That is comparing and expecting. If you don't compare yourself with anybody else, you are the happiest man. If you don't expect anything from anybody, students, spouse, children, AOC, conference, don't expect anything. Lunch, dinner, <laughs> don't expect anything. You will be the happiest. So, second eye syndrome, both are working. Let's say the patient comes for the first time, he only has fear. He has heard stories of things going wrong. So, he only has fear. And Dr. Devendra operates him. Patient, it happens in five minutes. Topical surgery, patients, I mean, had so much fear, okay, it just got over in a jiffy and patient is seeing very well because he's comparing his eye with the other eye which has a cataract. So, the comparison, so he says, I'm seeing very well, doctor, you are a god, he'll say, and he comes for the second eye. When he op operates, he's coming with now expectation, okay, the second evil. So, he's expecting it to be shorter, he's expecting it to be painless, expecting it to see the moon. But now, he, once he comes with an any expectation, you're always left unhappy. And he compares his second eye vision, not with the third eye which has a cataract, with the first eye which is already recovered and seeing well. Okay, that means there is a wrong comparison here. The first eye was compared with the cataract eye, the second eye is then pseudo fake eye. So he will always say, my second eye is, so you always have to keep this in mind. Many a times we botch up the whole thing by just not telling this. So I tell my patients, your second is going to take more time. Your second is going to be painful. Okay, you are not going to see, going to see less and much more slowly than compared to the first day. I say why? I say it's psychology. It happens to all the intelligent people. Okay, <laughs> so I'm not really uh, stepping on the toes of Dr. Madhavan Baker's talk that he's going to tell the real in in a bigger perspective in a cataract surgery. Like you go to a OT, you tear the posterior capsule and the nucleus drops. So what will you do? So you have a list of 12 cases lined up. Okay, you're all, so you say, Are, mera case katam karna hai, sab patient wait kare. Toh, aisa karo. Take this patient, give them a special room, give them coffee. I'll finish my list, go at two o'clock and sit with them for one hour and explain the whole family what is it and what we'll do next. That should never be done. Okay, because all our patients and their relatives are fond of Bollywood movies. What's a typical OT in a Bollywood movie? There's a closed door, there's a red light blinking, people are moving front and back, and the door opens, suddenly the surgeon comes out wearing a, without wearing a cap sometimes, without wearing a mask, wearing a stethoscope, some nonsense. He comes out and delivers a judgment. He says, Bache ko bacha sakte, nahi to ko bacha sakte. Or he will say, 24 gante mein hosh nahi to bas katam baat. Some life-shattering judgment comes after the door opens. So they are mentally prepared to hear the bad news in that premise. Okay. Not that I take taken to the comfort of the room and the doctor comes after four hours and says, sorry, we could not put the lens, the nucleus dropped, I have to call Dr. Devendra to take it out. No. The period of vulnerability is gone. So what you do is, you drop the nucleus, no problem. Go in your attire, there's a semi-sterile, sterile area combination, call them there. They come like lamps, you're sitting all over there, towering. You say, okay, we opened the cataract, we found the support is not too good. So we need to, there's some problem at the back. So I will probably get in a new surgeon to take this out. Then we'll probably try to do it. So so don't worry, we'll, everything will be fine. So that is the time where you are in control. 
and they are in the, they are susceptible and they are able to take the bad news because they are already mentally prepared for that so that is how things go so never you know delay breaking the bad news and you always tell it then and there and things always happen fine and normally you see you always do a good job at the end patient always sees better but don't try to create a problem right in the beginning okay multifocal mania see it is so difficult to convince a patient for multifocal you always you put a monofocal patient as he said where is the mujhe nahi dikh raha you put a multifocal he says he only he sees rings only nothing else all the positive is gone he is reading a news print but he will say mujhe ring dikh raha hai wo dikh raha hai ye dikh raha hai so basically there is always a problem so how do you actually convince a patient what is the one minute counseling for a multifocal i say choose between these two see if you want what do you want you want clarity you want convenience if you want the clarity you want a crisp vision and ready to take a 5% of inconvenience of wearing some thin glasses once in a while use the words properly okay he says most people will fall to this trap he says no mujhe clarity is thoda idhar i am already wearing glasses no problem kabhi kabhi pen leta hu so then he will not tell mujhe nahi dikh raha and especially with a good monovision principle nowadays people are very happy i am personally a fan of monovision at the same time you say no i don't want to wear glasses so if you want the convenience of complete spectacle independence you need to take a small you know shot at the clarity 9.4 to 5% or you may still lesser 3% 2% loss of clarity at times so if he says thoda dhundla hai i am all that problems of photic phenomena and loss of contrast should be coming under this so you said you chose clarity wear glasses you chose convenience so basically trying to simplify and so that you can understand the by person see you don't have to give the choice to them you induce them to pick up one depending upon what you think will be ideal for you so that the patient is also a part of decision making he will not hold you responsible later as a sole entity and we are underselling always see you have to have a counselor if you have 15 patients in your clinic you should have a counselor it's a well paid thing and frequently asked questions have to be answered the counsel has to only confuse you need to take the final call and don't sell the iol sell the surgeon sell the skill sell the experience and the expertise not the iol i think this is a very bad trend that we are now normally it's ruining the practice actually and final shot this is the final nail in the coffin end of stomatitis i think the art of managing an end of stomatitis becomes equally important like the science the present day vitreoretinal surgery is so advanced that it's normally it's we always get very good result the patient comes in time there's never been a problem like the past okay but the problem is that we mess up with the art we all the problems so far in our history are all because that we manage the art wrongly okay so it's not end of the world it calls for both art and science accept it don't say it's a task accept it fall in line and start doing things quickly everything is end of stomatitis unless proved otherwise but for the patient it's a i mean you promised the moon and he is not seeing anything there's a pain discomfort so you are a demon you are immediately demonized the person who said you are god will reverse the wordings immediately okay and it's a critical he says you are no good it's an evaluation of comp- surgical competence because when there were bacteria which attach into the eye so how to handle take her immediately you don't make them wait if you know that at the reception there's a problem patient who came 3 days ago for surgery now seeing less take care of them they may wait you may be seeing a vip you may seeing an emergency if you make them wait for 15 minutes in the court of law they say 2 hours we waited they will add the time they started from home also okay 2 hours the dog didn't care okay so that will be the version and also make it private no don't call in front of other patient what happened he will say आपने ऑपरेशन किया अभी नहीं दिख रहा है सो टेक इट प्राइवेट एंड शो कंसर्न एट द सेम टाइम यू डोंट हैव टू बेंड बैकवर्ड्स एंड शो दैट पैनिक एंड दैट दैट गिल्टी एटीट्यूड नो सो यू डोंट हैव टू फील दैट गिल्ट सी बी फॉर्म बट द सेम टाइम बी कंपैशनेट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दे आर इन ट्रबल एंड आस्क देम व्हेन डिड द ब्लरिंग स्टार्ट नॉर्मली टॉपिकल सर्जरी मोस्ट सर्जरीज दे सी वेरी वेल इमीडिएटली पोस्ट सर्जरी इवन इफ यू पुट अ बैक्टीरिया it takes 48 hours to invade the vitreous and the vision should drop after 2 3 days so patient would have seen for 2 days if the patient doesn't see immediately after surgery the problem is with the surgery that's what they think it happens after 3 days there may be anything that has happened in 3 days so you ask them what happened did you sneeze 
did you cough or did you rub your eye has somebody elbowed your eye so something would have happened you saw a serial and cried so that means there is some contributory thing from their side which could be responsible that's a kid in his head no you just put it there then he suddenly starts thinking are wo bhi ho sakta hai i think that happened so probably it's not it just that you divert that that you are not there at the so lastly don't use the word infection very very important you say it's a reaction severe reaction in aankh mein inflammation in is also a reaction okay and don't show so much of despair and take the hostility head on this is important and be genuinely interested in the welfare of the patient that is very important from your heart okay don't be so fake from your heart you try to do things at the same time be defensive also okay just hold on to your nerves in india most of the things end with a happy ending okay and always prevent a lawsuit you may be all that may be in your favor but still it's a waste of time and resource to go to the court and win it prevent it okay anticipate keep your everything ready it's very very important and keep hire a good advocate because law is a slave of evidence if you don't have evidence no documentation nothing with including the consent okay so thank you very much uh, now we'll have dr deepthi joshi she will be uh, speaking for what are the communication pearls that we need to teach our young ophthalmologists or post graduates and residents so there are a lot of things that they should know in particular because the practice and the experience teaches a lot but since they are at the portals of this great ophthalmic fraternity what they should be learning in order to yeah i i just visited one hospital in hyderabad okay they had 35 packages like you go to sagar restaurant delhi they have around i mean 55 dosas okay so it's like that so basically you are basically creating a problem and putting it because everything is the only difference of 2 3000 uh, 23000 25000 30000 32000 you have to create some you know different uh, benchmarks okay for a type of patient that who is coming to you there should be something for everyone and don't undersell don't undersell something for everyone at the same time i think you should not have more than four or five packages depending upon the kind of patient that you are seeing so it's not really necessary to have all the kinds and don't put the whatever the company says in the uh, brochure don't put them as per x square edge okay you and the price will speak for the quality see you don't know what is in i20 what is in i10 you go for the budget they will say 100 things the car seller so you decide mere paas itne paise i'll buy this car okay unless you are an expert so most patient do not know that so i think the money speaks for the package not the qualities of the eye i think you have to always 